So welcome back to the channel, everyone, Triplin here. In today's video, what I wanted to show you is how to pair a new Fire TV remote with your Fire TV stick. Now, this should work for your Fire TV stick, Fire TV cube, or even your Fire TV television. The scenario for this is you broke your remote, lost your remote controller, no way to control your Fire Stick, and you just bought a new Fire Stick remote, and you're looking to get this set up. So in this video, I'm going to quickly show you how to do that. If you're new to the channel, subscribe, smash the notification bell. Let's go. Alright, so here we are demonstrating on the Fire TV Cube. This is the, the newest Fire TV Cube and I know that uh, for the Fire TV Cube you can navigate to the menus like for instance if I say go to settings. So for the most part you do have some command, voice command that you can use but if you have a Fire TV stick that won't be available so you need to get this remote. It's not currently paired to your Fire TV stick. So there's a couple ways to do it. Some people say that if you go into pairing mode, it should automatically detect it. So let's go ahead and try that out. So to go to pairing mode, what you need to do is press the home button for 10 seconds. All right, so you are gonna see the light start flashing there. All right, so you can see it's flashing. It is in pairing mode. However, you can see on the television set itself, nothing's happening, it's still flashing. So that's really not a, a good option as far as just getting it um, to automatically detect. So what I found that works for me, and I've uh, done a short video on this uh, before, is getting the Fire TV application on your phone, on your mobile device, connecting to your Fire TV, and then you can go ahead and go to the menus that you want to, to get this connected. All right, so here's a look at the Fire TV remote. Let's go ahead and launch it. So I actually found a ton of devices. You can see Fire TV Stick Lite, Fire TV Stick, second generation, living room, Fire TV 4K, uh, Fire TV Cube. So a ton of them that's on here. Um, the one I want to connect to, of course, is the Fire TV Cube. So I'm going to click on it. All right, it is going to prompt for a code. All right, you look on the TV now, you can see it is asking for that code um, and my code is displayed right there. So what I'm going to do is just put that code in on the phone. Um, the code there is going to be 5949. All right. All right. So I am connected now, as you can see, now I can use my phone to control my television and just letting you guys know this can be where you stop this video and say okay this is good enough <laughs> let's say you're in a bind you don't have a new fire tv remote or fire stick remote this actually works really well better than expected and um i did a whole video just going over what you can do with this remote definitely um worth checking out no latency there as you can see pretty quick um, and the cool thing about this is once you get it paired, you do have access to an on-screen keyboard so you can type using your phone. So like I said, pretty cool um, way to, to get this set up. But of course with this video, what we're trying to do is get this new remote paired. So now that we have control of our Fire TV, what we're going to do is go over to our settings. So we're going to go to controllers and Bluetooth devices. And we're going to click on Amazon Fire TV remotes. So there's an option to add a new remote and that's what we're going to select um, on the actual mobile device. So we're going to go down one, we're going to add, and this is where uh, you want to go ahead and it's telling you right there on the screen that what you need to do is hold the home button uh, for 10 seconds. So let's go ahead and do that. And we should see that LED start blinking as well. All right, so now you see the LED and the TV still searching. You can see, found the Fire TV remote, ready to pair. So we're gonna go back to the app again, and we're gonna hit select. All right, so while this is still in pairing mode, and now our Fire TV stick remote is now paired with the Fire TV. So what if your Fire TV is not on your network and there's no way to download the application and pair your remote that way? Well, in order to do this, we're going to need to do two things. So first thing you're going to do, first thing you're going to need to do is unplug your Fire TV from the power source. Once you replug it, it will boot back in and give it a couple minutes, guys. It will eventually pop up a message saying that the remote cannot be detected. Now, once 
that shows this message, all you have to do is on your Fire TV remote that you want to pair it with, press and hold the home button for 10 seconds and this should connect. So let's go ahead and see if we can get this working. So here's the remote that I'm tempting to use guys. This is the, the upgraded Fire TV remote with the pairing function backlight. Um, you can see I'm pressing buttons, nothing is happening. So, so far it's just sitting on my profile, um, not really doing anything. First thing you're gonna need to do is restart your Fire TV. Now, in order to do this, all you need to do is pull the USB from the side, plug it back in and it should boot back up. So we'll just give it a second for it to boot up. All right, so let's see, nothing happening there. You can see I'm trying to click it. Nothing's moving, nothing's moving here either. All right, so what I'm gonna try to do is press and hold the home button on the Fi TV remote. This is the pro remote, by the way, and just see if it recognizes it. So I'm gonna press and hold. All right, so it is blinking. All right, so it looks like nothing's happened. What I want to do, guys, is just kind of wait a little bit. Um, cause what we're waiting for is for the message to pop up that the Fire TV does not detect a remote. Oh, there it goes. So pressed and hold the home button again. It looked like it automatically found it. So again, this might be some trial and error, but press and holding that home button um, on the screen, you can see that my Fire TV is now connected. And now I can use this remote, I can navigate, I can do whatever I need to, to get this up and running. So like I said, I wanted to give you guys all the options. If you're connected to the internet, you can easily download your application, figure out which one is your Fire TV stick and pair your remote that way. However, if it's a, a new remote and your Fire TV stick is not on the network, you can always force it to find the remote from the home screen by holding the home button. So that's it for this video. If you're new to the channel, subscribe, smash the notification bell. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.